In this video, I'm going to teach you how to fix CSGO not responding. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm going to showcase multiple methods that you have to address this issue and make it stop happening. So, first, what I recommend is that you go over to a web browser and you find the drivers for your specific graphics card. To figure out which GPU you have, right click the Windows icon, go over to Device Manager, and inside of the Device Manager under Display Adapters, you will find your specific graphics card. Now, if you have something like Intel Integrated Graphics, or if you don't have a dedicated GPU, that could be the reason on why CS2 is not working. It is an intensive game and you basically need a graphics card to be able to get inside of it. So if you see something like Intel Integrated Graphics, to my knowledge, there isn't much that you will be able to do to fix this. But if you have something from NVIDIA, which most people will have, or from AMD, which is my case, you will be able to visit the respective websites and download the drivers. So look for NVIDIA drivers on Google, or go to the NVIDIA website and select the option over here, and look for AMD drivers on Google, and arrive here. Now, you will be able to choose your specific GPU. So like I said, most people are going to have something along the lines of NVIDIA, GeForce, RTX, something. So just choose from this list here and you will be able to download the appropriate drivers. The same thing can be done for AMD. So just look at your specific model, usually AMD, Radeon, and then the series and the model. Once you have these drivers downloaded, run the .exe file and install them. Restart your computer and try running CS2 again. Now, if it still doesn't work and you are still getting crashes or the game is not responding, the other method that I would recommend is that you go over to your Steam library and in here you find Counter-Strike 2. Once you find Counter-Strike, right-click the game, go over to Properties, and on the Launch Properties here, all that you have to do is type dash Vulcan with a K. Now, what you will notice is that the first time you launch the game with this specific command here, it is actually going to stutter on most maps. So what you have to do is load into an offline game or go into casual and just walk around the map for a little bit. Basically, by including Vulcan here, the shader cache is going to be rebuilt, meaning that it is a process that happens on the background while you play, and because of that process, you will get stutters. However, after all of the shade cache for all the maps is done, being built and downloaded and stored locally, then the stutters will go away. And usually Vulcan will help the game run more smoothly with the shader cache that it built. So just leave it here and you will be good to go. I hope I was able to help you on how to fix CS2 not responding. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.